On Twitter, I'm Tweeter Stewart, T W W E T E R S T E W A R T, author of uh, several books on uh, broadcasting and uh, presentation, TV and radio skills, and so on. Check out my uh, author page on Google to see the uh, wide variety of books. Well, not actually a wide variety, just a just a, a large number of books all about those kinds of skills. Hi, I'm Peter Stewart. Welcome to today's episode. Get a better broadcast podcast, voice over voice. Talking about teleprompters, because I thought, well, we've been talking about looking at screens, so let's spend a few days talking about reading off a screen as far as a teleprompter or an auto cue goes. By the way, auto cue is actually a, a, a trademark name of a kind of teleprompter system. So if you're not aware, these are the devices which project the words you have to read onto the lens of a TV camera or alongside the lens of a mobile phone. So when you're reading, and inevitably you have to be looking at or near the lens while you're doing so, it appears much more naturally. It appears as though you've remembered the words or you're ad-libbing terribly, terribly fluently. But there are some tricks and tips that you need to know to be able to do that fluently and to not give the game away. And all of this, again, comes down to confidence because if you are confident in using these kinds of devices, which are a little bit odd, uh, because you're almost kind of internally kind of ignoring the audience because you're reading the words, but you're, you're, you're acting, essentially. You're pretending that these words are just coming to you. If you feel much more confident in using these devices, this kind of technology, then, as we've said before, your stress will lessen, your resonance will increase, your fluency will increase. If you're not confident and you trip up, then that is going to increase your stress. Uh, your voice is likely to be a little bit lighter. Your breathing is likely to be a little bit shallower. You're less likely to perhaps be able to get to the end of your of your words, of your sentences. That in itself is going to make you more stressed because you know that you're not performing as well as you might which of course is then a self-fulfilling prophecy because then that affects your voice and so on. So what can we do to understand how teleprompters work and how we can help them work for us? Yeah, so that we can uh, increase our confidence and everything that that then entails with our voice production and presentation. So Let's look today at the teleprompter positives and the teleprompter negatives. What's in it for you in using these devices? Well, OK, let's look at the positives first of all. Using a teleprompter, presenters naturally look into the lens or, or the text is so close to the lens that their eye line doesn't look askew. And that gives the impression of eye contact, which, of course, helps connect with the viewer. And... The intention is to make the presenter appear to know their material off by heart, that they're simply talking naturally and fluently to the audience. So that's going to make you appear better in the eyes of the viewer. And looking at a screen at eye level means that you'll have your head up and will be sitting with a, with a long spine, both postures, of course, to help with your breath control and your resonance. But you know what? With every yin, there is a yang. With every uh, positive, there is a negative. So what are the teleprompter negatives that we may quickly look at before we end today's episode? Well, what frequently spoils the illusion is the way some presenters stare woodenly into the camera. Yeah, They're stiff. Their eyes don't move. Using a teleprompter can make you look shifty, a little bit awkward, a little bit dodgy, like a second-hand car salesman. If you don't know how to use it properly, your, your, your unblinking eyes just moving left to right, as I say, a little bit shifty. And then people watch you rather than listen to you. They're watching you and, and, and thinking, hmm, there's something about him that's not quite right. And if they're doing that, they're not thinking about the message that you're trying to communicate. So reliance on a teleprompter can make some presenters feel as though they can't look away from the screen at all, let alone ad lib. If I'm not looking at their... At, at the screen and the words that I've been given. I, I, I don't even look over to my colleague at the left because w when I look back at the screen, I may have lost my place. And all of that is going to be confidence sapping and tension increasing. So, how to be an auto cutie, part one, in tomorrow's episode of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>